just got done watching the press conference. I'm amped. I'm extremely amped. Um, to be able to see both fighters on the stage finally, you know, to be able to see HBO and Showtime deal with the drama and have two different promoters and all this money and all this power being able to like, you know, fuse together and work together to make this fight is, is phenomenal. So uh, uh, not a lot was given new, you know, it was basically little, little jabs, tit for tat. Um, it kind of started out with everyone being really nice. You know, you had Mr. Showtime kind of talking about his take and perspective on how the events kind of transpired to create the event. And then you had Bob Arum <laughs> kind of, say it like it was like his side of it of how it all came together so it was kind of cute because it was it didn't take more than just a few minutes before the two of them were kind of doing like little shots at each other um but it, it was cool it, it was intense that that's what you want right that that's why you watch these fights uh it was cool to see all these different stats you know when you have a guy like uh mayweather you know who's accomplished so much i mean when you look at what's really going on i mean this fighter Floyd Mayweather is going to be able to make over $120 million with this fight. Over $120 million. No wonder why he is the highest paid fighter. Nobody makes that kind of money. But he makes that kind of money because if you look at the fight, they're looking to estimate over $300 million is going to be made off this. $300 million. Dollars. Now, I went ahead and threw some upshots, so you're going to start seeing some video uh, being put up. And the reason why I'm going to do that is to show you a little bit how everything kind of started. Uh, I don't even think I could put some of the audio in there because of the whole copyright stuff. But uh, what you're going to be seeing is the introduction, them coming out, uh, putting together uh, Manny Pacquiao's opening ceremony where they kind of go through his record and all the different fights, and which was really interesting because you really get an idea how many knockouts he has you know you forget that you know if it, it wasn't until he began until he lost that all of a sudden we were able to see through this invincibility you know it, it was like for so long you were looking at two guys that were just just invincible they were like superhuman with, with what they were doing the boxing um just the striking the intensity i i definitely don't believe manny pacquiao was on steroids for those who uh, know about steroids or understand how steroids work um, there was no significant muscle growth you know it wasn't like he was really struggling to make weight I, I don't think he would need, need any kind of uh, any kind of steroids to strip down any kind of water weight or stuff like that fighters are exert so much energy in the gym and training uh, it would be hard for me to believe that he just couldn't do that naturally when you look at a record like that too I mean, look at Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather is 47 and 0. 47. You know, it makes you wonder was he dodging Manny for this long so he can get it up that high? Because we all know if I would have been a different story if this happened five years ago. But it's neither here nor there. We have to take what it is today and what's really going on today. It was really cool. Um, as you're going to see, you'll have Freddie Roach getting up there, kind of I introducing mean, himself. I get to, and, uh, I've been looking forward for this for a long, long time. I'm going to get my fighter as ready as possible. <laughs> we are in the toughest said. fight of our life. Uh, we're fighting the I best fighter in the world. Sorry, Floyd. Um, <laughs> but we're going to kick your ass. And we're going to kick his ass. Freddie is like so old school style like that, you know. Uh, Floyd Mayweather Sr. did not get up. Uh, he stayed seated. Actually, he stood up once when they were announcing his name, but then he sat back down. But there were some interesting things that were said. Uh, when Bob Aaron was talking about the Philippines and how there's so much pride, you know, and, and building up uh, Manny Pacquiao's kind of presence before he went up there and talked, Manny was extremely respectful to uh, Floyd as well as respectful to all the promoters. And he, you just saw he was really happy. Although it was kind of bugging me because he kept staring down at his phone, though, like 90% of the time. So that was kind of interesting. But. You know, it is what it is. And then over Floyd is over here, like, you know, just kind of staring at the camera. He was playing with the Starbucks cup, but I get it, you know. They, they're over here flying around uh, trying to make all these appearances to make us happy. So I, I completely get it. You know, when you think about this fight, when you think of Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mether, this fight's been brewing for over five years. I mean, five years that we've been really seriously thinking that why don't you put the two best fighters in it in one shot, you know? What really hits me, what really sinks deep 
is it's not that this is happening five years later. What's really impressive is the fact that we're still going to be able to get it. You know, are the guys going to have uh, the ability to throw downs like they like they would have five years? Maybe not, but that can play into our favor. That can play into the viewers' favor, into into boxing enthusiasts, because now these guys are going to have a little bit more pressure to go ahead and and really demonstrate their speed demonstrate their agility you know demonstrate the explosive power that they can generate i feel like this is going to make them get a little sense of urgency earlier on now we all know that floyd's going to be very tactical with that style but the good thing about it is those who really enjoy watching manny pacquiao are going to get a surprise because they're, he's going to come out there and do exactly what we want him to do and that's going to be apply pressure apply punches Get, he's gonna have to touch some, to get that letter to touch some face. If he can start making contact earlier on and get Floyd to fall off his game and backpedal, things are gonna start rolling towards favor. Now on the flip side, Floyd is very confident. Floyd's been doing this to everybody who's stepped in the ring with him. Yeah, he's had a couple times where he's had some hiccups and maybe even some uh, wins that he snuck through that he probably shouldn't have got due to some judges. And that's another point is we have to make sure, well, there's nothing we can do, but we would really like to be make sure that when this happens that these guys can get this, get a solution, put an ending to the story, give us a knockout, give us a TKO. Let's not let this go to the judges. So here we are, or, or March 11th, I'm just super excited. I just watched this. I wanted to put some of the footage up for you that weren't able to watch it um, to see if we can get you just hyped up. Thank you for tuning in. This is Joey the Doom Junkie, and this is just another another step as this fight begins to unfold and gets closer to us May 2nd at MGM Grand. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe below. Subscribe.